Hello guys, it's StealthTronator here with a tutorial on how to install the GLSL Shaders mod with Optifine for Minecraft 1.7.5. Now the first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher. And once that loads up, using any profile, click Edit Profile. And under Use Version, select Release 1.7.5 and click Save Profile. Now click Play. This will make sure you have a version of Minecraft 1.7.5 downloaded for both Optifine and Shaders to work off of. Once it gets to the menu, click Quick Game and go into your web browser and go to optifine.net slash downloads.php, which is linked in the description, and find the for Minecraft 1.7.5 section and download the Optifine 1.7.5 version here. It will bring you to an AdFly page and wait 5 seconds for the skip ad button to appear in the top right and click skip ad. Now in the middle of these three ads, click the download optifine.jar link and save it on your desktop. Now go ahead and go to your desktop and you can see I have the file right here. You want to right click it, click open with, make sure Java platform SE binary is selected and click OK. Now click install and click OK. Now if we go ahead and go into our Minecraft launcher you will see that if we look in the profile selection there is a new profile. You'll have to click play to re-authenticate your account and you can see we are using the Optifine profile. We don't need to do anything with that yet so you can click close on the launcher. Now you want to go back into your web browser and go to the shaders mod form thread which is linked in the description and find the for Minecraft 1.7.5 section and click the more info link. It will bring you to a specific entry in the thread and find the for 1.7.5 area and click the link to download. This will bring up an ad fly page, wait for the skip ad button to show up in the top right and click skip ad. Now click the blue download button here and save it on your desktop. Now go to your desktop and again right click the dot jar, click open with, select Java platform SE binary, click OK. When it asks you if you'd like to install it, make sure that is the correct path and click yes. And then you can see that it has added both the regular shaders and the Optifine shaders, and you can click OK. Now let's go ahead and go into our Minecraft launcher and test it out. You will need to re-authenticate your account, click play again, and you can see it says 1.7.5 Optifine shaders mod, that's the one you'd like, and click play. This will load up. And once it does, go to your options. You can see we have the shaders option, that means shaders is installed. And if you go to video settings, you can see that Optifine is also installed. Now really quick, let's go ahead and go into this world. You'll see that there's not too much of a difference because we actually have to get a shader pack, which is what I will show you next. But we do have both shaders and Optifine installed, as you can see in the F3 menu as well. So now what you want to do is quit game and exit the launcher. For the sake of this tutorial, I will be using Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders, but you can use any shader pack that is updated for Minecraft 1.7.5, and I will leave a link to some other ones that you can use in the description below. So what you want to do is go into your web browser and go to the Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders forum thread and scroll down to find the download section. And we're going to download the standard version, so just click this link. And then wait for the skip ad button to appear in the top right. And click skip ad. You need to agree to the EULA. And then click download. And save it on your desktop. Now go ahead and go to your desktop. And you can see that there are some files in here. What we want to do is press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard and type percent, percent, 
and click OK. Now go into your .minecraft and shader packs folder and drag the zip file into that folder. Now you can close that and let's go ahead and go back into Minecraft, open up your Minecraft launcher, make sure the Optifine shaders profile is selected and click play. Once it opens, we're going to go into a world just to test it out. You can see that we now have the shaders working. Everything is shadowed and we have all the lighting and everything. Uh, so you can see that it is working. One thing to keep in mind is that shaders is very intensive on your computer. So you may not be able to run it, but also make sure you don't have any extraneous mods installed as this may cause other issues and cause it to crash. But if you do have any trouble, let me know in the comments below and I will try to help you out to the best of my ability. If you did find this helpful, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. And also if you could share this with your friends, I would really appreciate that as well. If you're not already, make sure you follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook fan page, and follow me on Google+. All of the links are down in the description below. And if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy daily gaming, tutorials, and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.